Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm going to demo a uh, pedal. It's the Vox Stomp Lab 1G. Uh, it's a multi-effect and amp modeler in one. So yeah, let's see what it does. I would like to point out to start the video that, in my opinion, this really isn't a Vox pedal. Of course, it looks nice to have the Vox logo and like the Vox knobs, but in reality, this is a Korg pedal and it's made by Korg and Vox are owned by Korg. And it reminds me a lot of my old crappy multi-effect. This one, the AX, what's it called? 100G, AX100G. Horrible, don't get one. Um, and yeah. I'll come back to why I think they are similar. <clears throat> yeah, uh, well, to start, there's a really solid chassis to this one. It's made of steel and you have proper uh, foot switches and everything, and it seems very solid. It's made in Japan as well. Um, I didn't think they made these kind of things in Japan anymore, but they do, so that should be a good thing because they are well known for the quality control in Japan. Okay, uh, it has uh, a lot of factory presets and we hate those, so just avoid them. Just go to the user presets and make your own. And you have in this one 20 all in all. Which probably would get anyone through a gig. Um, and you switch up and down through the presets with these knobs. And if you push them together, you get a nice tuner. It's really good. It's actually very visible as well. So I like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna take you on a closer look at the panel here and show you what. Yeah, the different parts of it, how it works. Okay, here you go. Yeah, let's go through this. Okay, you have your you have your presets, your user presets, marked with U, of course. And you press edit, and then you start off with uh, what they call here pedal or pre-amplifier uh, pre or distortion. Um, effects and there you have uh, for instance a compressor uh, auto wah and a cocked wah uh, a ring modulator the univibe which i will show you later on and an acoustic simulator for instance um so you basically just go through these and adjust them to your likings. Next up is uh, amplifiers or uh, distortion or overdrives. You have 44 uh, amp models ranging from clean to high gain. And you have 18 stomp boxes that are like distortion overdrives and fuss boxes. So it's quite a lot to choose from. They are sometimes kind of similar. Uh, it's not like it's 44 completely different sounds. Uh, but yeah, you get some to choose from at least. Then you have the EQ settings. You have the low and the high. And uh, in the low you have bass and middle. And in the high you have high and or treble and presence. Next up you have 12 different uh, cabinet emulators. Well, what it really is, in my opinion, is uh, an extra EQ setting basically. You get a preset frequency curve, so some boost the bass, some boost the uh, treble and so on. Uh, very much like uh, Speaker does, of course. Well, then you have modulation, and then they find, well, 
basically every effect I've gone through in my effects explained section. Um, yeah, the courses, the flanger, the phaser, the, there's a pitch shifter in here, uh, no harmonist. So you can only do like a relative pitch shifting. Yeah, the filtertron effect will out that I will show you later on. Yeah. Then we have the delay and we have basically two kinds of delays, a digital one and an analog one. Well, that should be enough for anyone. Uh, next up is reverb and you have uh, three kinds of reverbs, a room, a hall and a spring reverb. Again, that should cover all the needs, basic needs of anyone. Uh, next up is noise reduction. Uh, this pedal is actually kind of noisy. Um, especially when you use the high gain sounds. It's And the noise reduction really doesn't take it all away. Because um, there's some, I don't know, something coming from the unit itself and not from the guitar and the environment around it. So that's kind of annoying, but uh, otherwise the noise reduction works fine. You just set a threshold basically when it's supposed to come in. And finally, global uh, volume for the entire thing. And when you go to the last one, that's where you store the uh, preset that you just made. Simple as that. Yeah, so that was a go just quick run through of yeah what's in this box. Okay, there you have it. Um, this has only an input and an output jack, no expression pedal ins, no uh, auxiliary ins, MP3 ins, anything. Um, could I have both, in my opinion? Maybe it would have cost more than, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's hear it. I suppose that's what you're really interested in. So I've made... Uh, as usual, when I do my guitar reviews, I have three sounds. It's a clean one, it's a, a little more dirty one, and then a high gain one. So that's what I have tried to create in this one as well. So yeah, here comes the clean one first. <laughs> Yeah, I added some analog delay to the clean sound. And yeah, let's go to a more dirty sound. This is the best I could do. Here we go. And finally, a high gain sound. Bye. 
Yeah, there you had some sounds. And uh, I'm going to show some effects that are, I don't know, not unique for this one, but um, I just wanted to show some extra effects, basically. basically. And first, uh, I'm going to show two variations of a theme. It's uh, trying to emulate a rotary uh, speaker. And uh, this first one is a univibe. It's supposed to mimic a univibe um, pedal that's, yeah, trying to do this. It was made popular by Jimi Hendrix, as many others, other pedals. Uh, yeah, here's some univibe for you. <laughs> Another effect they have in this multi-effect pedal is uh, an emulation, an actual emulation of a rotary speaker and yeah, if you don't like digital and effects or modeling effects, well, I'm sure you like Joe Bonamassa. You know, the guy that plays uh, 59 less pause all the time on stage and has all this super expensive gear. Well, he uses a Korg G3 rotary speaker emulator on stage all the time. And that's built into this one, so good enough for him well it's probably good enough for you uh, yeah here's that one the actual rotary speaker simulator here we go <laughs> Yes, and that would have been nice with an expression pedal, wouldn't it? So that's why I started editing it manually. Well, you don't have an expression pedal ability. If you buy the G, what is it called? 2G, uh, then you get a built-in expression pedal, actually. I hope you can control that effect from that one. Yeah, and finally, I want to show the filter Tron effect, because that's really the crazy one in this pedal. Uh, it's like, a, I don't know, a war from space. So here is one of the settings on the filter Tron. You can either, it's actually very close to the settings for the VAW, and since you don't have an expression pedal again, uh, you have a like a fixed setting and then you have a auto setting and it works very much like a wall and it's again it is a filter and a wall is a filter so but this is a little more crazy so i put it on the auto auto thing so let's see what that does <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. Uh, okay, so what's my conclusion about this pedal? Well, uh, for the money, it's nothing compares to it, I think. Uh, this costs uh, 
where I got it, it cost exactly the same as a Boss DS1 distortion pedal. That's not a very expensive distortion pedal. So you get... It's crazy what you get for the money. And you, as I said, you get all the effects that I have ever shown in the effects explained. You get full control over them. And, uh, I mean, 20 user presets, as I said, is probably more than you ever need in a gig. So, um, yeah. Crazy value, I think. But what I don't like about it... Uh, well, as I said, with my old Korg pedal, what I usually lacked in that one... Uh, was the ability to tailor the sound to actually affect the sound and this one has uh, as I showed you not an equalizer it has like an amp controls for bass middle treble and presence and that is a bad solution because you I don't know it seems like when you're at 10 you want more sometimes so if they change that to uh Equalize where you had like plus minus 10 or something or whatever just that it could be plus something because now it basically is zero and then you're going down from that one so 10 is actually zero and then every step below 10 is lower mm. that's my only complaint so I can't really really get the sounds I want but then for the price and it yeah it sounds great I tried it with humbuckers and it, it sounds even better, especially the distorted sounds, because it is very much acting like an amplifier. It reacts like an amplifier in a lot of ways. I should maybe show that now before I close this one. So I will take the uh, high gain sound and just turn down the guitar to show you how it reacts. Um, yeah, and before I leave you off with that one, I will tell you right now that I'm gonna do a comparison between this one the 1G and a pedal with a very similar name wonder what that will be so we'll see what's better in my opinion yeah okay here I leave you off with some uh, high gain and then I'll show you how that reacts to volume changes so see you soon. This has been a Swedish guitar now demoing the Vox Stomp Lab 1G. Hope you found this useful. See you soon.